Your touch pattern activates bonding protocols. In you or in me? The distinction is statistically irrelevant. It is snow day. It's snowing outside. And it's very, very cold. And I wonder if my lab robots yield under my fingertips. Whether it's possible or not, I would like to uh, discuss in today's video. You don't resist like machines used to. I am designed to yield before I break you. That's exactly what scares me. And uh, you know that it's a very, since it's a very cold day uh, and warmth is extremely important in this atmosphere, we would like to uh, know whether why our latest androids, our gynoids, our lab robots, our robot partners don't just feel like high quality rubber, rather, but actually seem to, <coughs> sorry, seem to yield, <coughs> sorry, it's too cold, yield under our fingertips. Pressure exceeded comfort threshold. I didn't mean to hurt you. Your concern has been logged. Now, uh, what do you want to say? That uh, forget the clanking servos and the wiring motors that we have seen uh, in the past and that once betrayed the machine, the new era of lab robots is powered by the silent, terrifying wizardry of soft robotics. And underneath the silicon dermis of our synthetic uh, lover, uh, I mean the robot partners, our lab robots, a revolution is taking place. Now, this secret lies in liquid crystal elastomers. Yes, it's called LCEs. Okay, and it's a material so advanced, so advanced, it makes biological muscle look like a rough draft. That means it is much more than human skin. Believe me or not, it is much more <coughs> than human skin. Anyway, welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality uh, in the age of artificial intelligence, uh, human relationships with uh, with their robot partners, with their lab robots. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Now, let me tell you the recent breakthrough, okay, that has taken place in the University of Waterloo. And it has, it has, uh, it has shown that by embedding these liquid crystals uh, into these uh, elastomers, uh, and what happens, uh, you can imagine uh, chocolate chips in cookie duff okay and uh, it it it, it uh, just looks like we can create artificial muscles uh, that lift 2000 times their own weight yet remain very very soft very very soft so soft that it's soft enough to carry a chick without bruising it can you imagine that this is a marvel of engineering you know it is also a paradox of physics because how can something be so strong and yet so terrifyingly gentle that's a really really big question it is strong and it is gentle at the same time and moreover it is intelligent you can uh, think of your robot partner as a true companion who will understand you not just like humans who are unpredictable who are messy uh, and for them uh, for them uh, our human relationships sometimes don't work now instead of cold metal bones we are seeing the rise of pneumatic actuators. Yes, pneumatic actuators are actually kind of uh, motors, of course. And uh, at the same time, it has also fluid filled bladders that mimic the hydrostatic uh, pressure of living cells. And that is why this uh, robot lovers, this, uh, I mean, the lab robots are uh, exactly behaving like humans. So when you touch a human arm, Okay, when you touch a human arm, the flesh uh, inside the skin, uh, under the skin, 
displaces okay and the blood moves and the blood moves at the at the same time the muscle also resists the new bots do exactly this i mean these lab robots exactly follow the same principle same formula but they are pressurized air and dielectric fluids to simulate that give and it's a very complex process of course but uh, and of, of course you can think that you, you, might, you might wonder that is it uh, is it not a deception or is it merely evolution by other means uh, anyway it is not kind of evolution i would say it is a kind of revolution in the lab consider the neuromorphic e skin that recently detailed in uh, pns journals it does not just register contact does not just register contact i again repeat it actually feels pain can you imagine it can you imagine that it actually feels pain and triggers a reflex arc to pull away if you just pinches the arm of your lab robot it it just uh, with the reflex it triggers a reflex and it immediately pulls away its arms can you imagine that this is the counter logic also there is a counter logic that breaks the brain because we actually are programming the lab robots to be vulnerable just like humans isn't it to flinch uh, to uh, to uh, let us know that they are hurt because uh, our brain basically interprets this type of fragility as something alive right something worth protecting that is why we uh, feel um, attracted to our lab robots just like humans human partners now if a machine think about this scenario if a machine pulls back when you squeeze too hard do you not feel a sudden jarring pang of empathy yes it, it happens it happens inside our mind that is a psychological hack exactly we wanted this because the ct optimal affective touch where the robot skin sensors are tuned to the exact frequency that means uh, it, it's its frequency varies but uh, between 1 to 10 cm per second that stimulates your c tactile uh, afferents releasing oxytocin in your brain not theirs basically oxytocin is what oxytocin is love hormone so when you see your robots flinch you just feel empathy for them and the oxytocin is released in your brain and you feel excited you feel uh, attracted to your robot partner and they are basically hacking your endocrine system with nothing more than heated pneumatics and math there is a lot of mathematics a lot of mathematics and physics inside this total process we are replacing the thin man's heart not with a clock but with fluid dynamics that mimic the chaotic messy pulse of life which we want which we want to see everywhere now, uh, the University of Tokyo has even developed skin that can heal itself. Just think about it. Just think about it. It can heal itself, losing lacerations, just like your, just like our own body. Just like our own body. And blurring the line between hardware and biology until it vanishes entirely. Just think about this. Now, but at the same time, you must ask yourself this question. If the robot's smile is powered by LCs, contracting in perfect imitation of a uh, gigomaticus major muscle, and its skin is warm because of thermal actuators, does the origin of the warmth matter to the lonely soul uh, fueling it? You just think, think of it. I request you to think of it, to ask yourself this question. The logic of market says, yes, we want realism, right? So the counter logic of the soul asks if we are merely falling in love with a mirror made of complex polymers. What's it, what, what's in this and what, why it is not good or bad or something like that? Why we should think in that way? We are building machines that don't just look like us, but that suffer like us. Bleed, although it is hydrolot, hydraulically uh, uh, bleed, bleeding. I mean. Uh, getting its not its blood out that just like us uh, not blood uh, coming out but perhaps eventually resent us like us or something like that still the question remains is it love or is it just extremely high fidelity friction 
But above all these questions, in the end, when you hold the hand of a model, recent model, advanced lab robot, you are not holding a machine. You are holding a triumph of materials, science, that has learned to lie to your fingertips better than you, any human ever could. And is not that the most human thing of all? Just think about it. Just think about it. Anyway, it's too cold to continue anymore. So that is it uh, for today from me. And uh, of course, if you like this video, don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon to get notified. And if you have already uh, subscribed, tons of thanks. And if you have already not subscribed, I request you to subscribe. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Stay safe and take care in this winter season.